hot off the press, we can now talk to ChatGPT and it talks back. This is the release post right here. I'll link to this in the description down below. This is available to Plus and Enterprise users, both the voice and the images integration. The image integration I have a separate video for. I'll link to that in the card up above. And the voice integration is what this video is about. And it requires not just that you have a paid subscription, but also that you use it on an iOS device or an Android device. Let's hop into my iPhone right now so you can see how it works. So once you're on your phone, all you do is you tap on the ChatGPT icon to open ChatGPT. And if you haven't set it up yet, you go to the three dots and you go to settings. You go to new features and make sure that voice conversations is turned on. And now we have the option to choose a voice. There's five to choose from currently. I'll just play them for you right now so you can see what they sound like. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to work. Hello, I'm really excited about teaming up with you and I'm all. Hi there, I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you. Hey there, I've got a really. I chose Juniper and there's also languages. This is spoken and responding languages. So whatever your language is, you can choose it here. I'm gonna stick with English. And then once you're ready, all you do is you tap on the headphones in the top corner and then you start talking to ChatGPT. Could you tell me more about this new feature you have? That's like a conversation where you can talk to us and we talk to you. The feature you're referring to allows users to have voice-based conversations with me, much like a typical phone call. Instead of typing out questions and waiting for a response, you can now simply speak. And my responses are read out loud using realistic text-to-speech technology. That's pretty sweet. And the voice is amazing. It sounds like a regular person that you would know if you're in North America. And it's, it's just fantastic. Do you think you'll be replacing voice assistants like Siri in the near future? You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. Well, isn't that just something? I'll have to pause this video and come back to it when I've cleared my cap. While we're waiting though, you can see that the text or the chat is right here. You've got the Frank up here, that's me, because I don't give chat to be my real name. It's transcribed what I've said, and then it types out what it says, and then pre presents that back to me as a voice. So it's just, it's the regular chat GPT we all know with a voice layer on top of it. Do you think that you'll be replacing voice assistants like Siri in the future? It's hard to predict the future, but I'm just another tool in the wide array of voice assistants and chatbots available. Siri, Alexa, and other voice assistants have their unique integrations, especially with specific hardware and ecosystems. Users might choose based on preference, specific needs, or platform compatibility. So she dodged that question, but chances are something like this is going to replace other voice assistants because it's just so much more capable. Let's, um, let's ask it just something random. Can you tell us a fun fact about the James Webb Telescope? Certainly. The James Webb Space Telescope, often called JWST or Webb. And I'm sure she nailed it. But it's just like using regular chat GTP. Like we would have typed this in last week, but this week we're talking right to it. The one thing I've noticed though, is aside from hitting your, your limit with chat GTP 4, which goes pretty quick when you're talking, goes even faster than typing. Um, one thing is, is it listens for pauses when you talk and then it just assumes you're done. So if I pause to think, ChatGPT is just gonna assume I'm done and start responding. Here's an example. Yesterday I was walking in the park and I saw a bird that I think looked kind of like a blue jay, but it was a little more um, purple in color, not so blue. And now ChatGPT has, has stopped. Black markings. Any idea what bird that could have been? It's not so she just interrupted or didn't interrupt. It assumed I was done when I actually wasn't. And sometimes when I'm talking and thinking, I have long pauses like that. But if it's a one sentence request that I already know what I'm going to say, this feature is super useful. If I have to sit and think, I'd rather have an option where you can tap the screen to say you're done. Next up, check out this video right here, which is all about the image integration with ChatGTP. And then check out this video here, which is the Bing integration with ChatGPT, where you can add URLs to ChatGPT and it will go scan live websites right now, live websites.
Super cool. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't waste any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.